today's video, we're going to show you how to do the Gaia catalogs and install them so you can have them locally. So this way you can do your plate solving and your spectral photometric color calibration without having to go online and get those errors and wait for the server to come back up for maintenance or it's being down or anything to that nature. So let's get started. So once you have your image open, you typically go to scripts. You're going to do your processing part where you're going to do your background extraction. OK, so once you've done your background extraction, your typical workflow is to go to tools, astrometry, do your image plate solving for your image, right? And then as you can see here, I got all my settings. And then when you go, you got down at the bottom, you can see it says star catalog. Oh, it's going to use the Gaia DR3. And it's an online catalog. If you click it, you can see here it comes up and it says, hey, you know, you can't do this, blah, blah, blah. It's down, it's maintenance, or whatever the case is, it's unavailable. So we don't want that. What we want to do is make this Gaia catalog a local catalog. So what we're going to do is actually go and download it. So let's close this out. And what we're going to do here in order to download it, we're going to go to scripts, Python scripts, and in your Python scripts, you're going to see something called core. Over to the right of core, you're going to see it says serial catalog installer. We're going to click on that. And when we click on that, that's going to take us to the core stuff on what we're going to do in order to download all these catalogs. Once the window opens, you can see here, this is how to install your catalogs. First one is going to be your astrometry plate solving. That's going to be this one here. And if you go and you hit install, just be aware that this is going to download a large amount of data. Okay. And I believe it's 1.06 gigabytes of data. You're either going to say yes or no, and you're going to proceed, and that's automatically going to download to your serial uh, location. The next area here is for your SPCC catalog. And in here, you got a couple of options of what you can do. You can do it by your latitude. You can do it by your area of interest. It all depends on how much stuff you want to do. I preferred to download all of it. So just be aware that if you do download all of it, it's like 17 gigabytes of data. And you want to put this somewhere to where you have room. Okay. You can also download this to a USB and stuff like that and point it to that direction. It just depends on where you want to download it. Just be aware that this is going to be a very, very large file. So if I was to do this, as you can see here, area of interest, if I use the drop down there, I got a couple of options of, of what I want to do if I want to just do areas. And the catalogs will only download those specific items. So as you can see here in your selection method, if I use that drop down, there's where it goes. So I can do it by all of it, everything. I can do it by my latitude and I can do it by my area of interest. I prefer to do all because I don't care about space, and I'm gonna hit install. And the same thing goes, when you do the install, it's gonna be a large amount of data. Be aware of that. And then whether or not you're gonna proceed, you're just gonna click yes. And what that's gonna do, as you can see down here at the bottom of the catalog path, this is where it's gonna, it's gonna basically put everything. So if you didn't want it to go there, all you have to do is hit browse, pick a different location, of wherever you have space. So if it's in a different drive, select that drive. If it's in a different location within your own PC, select that. Once you select that, you can just hit select folder and it's gonna put it in there. So anything I hit from this point, if I hit install or install here, that's the location of where it's gonna go. So once that's done and accomplished, we're gonna close this out. You're then going to close out a serial. Now that serial reopened, you're going to go to the hamburger symbol over on the right. You're going to click on preferences. In preferences, look for 
astrometry in the column. Once you see that, you can go over to the right. You got some names and some catalogs. Down below, if you scroll a little bit, you're going to see the local star catalog. And in here, it should automatically put the stuff for plate solving. And over here, it should put all the stuff for the photometric extract. And that's going to be for your SPCC catalog. Once you're happy with that and everything looks like it loaded, we're just going to cancel here. Now, when I go to open up an image, let's just open up this one again. And for argument's sake, let's put in auto stretch. Let's pretend we're doing our steps. I'm going to go through this part a little quicker than normal. You're going to crop, crop. And then once it crops, we're going to go to scripts, just like you would normally processing. We're going to go to either or, whatever your preference is for your background extraction. We're going to grab that. Once that opens here, you're, again, I set my preferences here. I'm going to hit apply. Once I apply all my background extraction, I'm going to close this. So now that that's done, we're going to go to plate solving. We're going to go to tools, astrometry, image plate solver. And in here, again, remember I had all my settings, but if you look below, now for my star catalog, it's not going to show that I have a local catalog. That's important. Local catalog, and it's the Gaia DR3. I'm going to click OK. Now that I have it locally, it goes through all my steps pretty quickly. The next step is to go to image processing, color calibration like normal. Now when we hit spectrophotometric color calibration, when my window opens, down below you can see now we have the catalogs. In the catalogs, you can see it reads that it's local catalog now. If I click on the drop down, you can see I can still pick my online if I wanted to, or I can go back to my local. Your choice. Now you have an option. So if one fails, you go to your local. I'm always going to keep mine on my local so I don't have to worry about it failing. At this point, now you're just going to click OK, and that's going to go through the proper process of doing your color calibration. Once that's done, just like normal, it's going to do your plots and everything like that. Let's close that out. You can see over on the right, everything succeeded. And now you just hit close. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Now we have installed local catalogs, and we don't have to worry about being online or anything being down that you can't process either your plate solving or your color calibration. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That's how we're going to keep it going. Until the next time, clear skies, and I'll see you on the next video.